Doja Cat is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer based in Los Angeles, California. She began making and releasing music on SoundCloud as a teenager. Born October 21, 1995, age 28 years, Tarzana, Los Angeles, California, United States. Parents, Dimasani Dlamini, Deborah Elizabeth Sawyer. Full name, Umla Ratna Zandile Dlamini. Awards, full list. Doja Cat net worth $12 million. Early life and education. Umla Ratna Zandile Dlamini was born on October 21, 1995, in the Tarzana neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. Her mother, Deborah Sawyer, is an American graphic designer of Jewish heritage, and her father, Dimasani Dlamini, is a South African performer of Zulu descent, best known for starring as Crocodile in the original Broadway cast of the musical Serafina and the 1992 film adaptation. The two had a brief relationship after meeting in New York City where Dimasani performed on Broadway, but he was too busy on tour to spend time with Amla and her brother. He said that he left his family in the U.S. for South Africa out of homesickness, in the hopes that they would join him there, yet Dlamini has suggested on multiple occasions that she is estranged from her father, stating that she never met him. Her father has denied these claims, claiming that he has a healthy relationship with his daughter and that her management team had tried to block all his attempts to contact her out of the fear that they might lose her. Soon after her birth, Dlamini moved from Tarzana to Rye, New York, where she lived for five years with her maternal grandmother, an architect and painter. At the age of eight, Dlamini returned to California with her mother and brother to live at the Sayananta Ashram, a commune in Agora Hills, and practiced Hinduism for four years. While living at the commune, Dlamini started wearing head-covering scarves and singing bhajans at temple, yet disclosed how she felt like she could not be a kid during her time there. Her family then moved to Oak Park, where she started attending dance lessons and experienced a sporty childhood, often skateboarding and visiting Malibu for surf camps. Dlamini and her brother were also subjected to racial prejudice as some of the only mixed-race children in the area. As she grew older and moved away from the ashram, she attended breakdancing classes and joined a professional poplocking troupe, with whom she competed in dance battles throughout Los Angeles while still attending high school. Her aunt, a vocal coach, had given Dlamini singing lessons to help her audition for Central Los Angeles Area New High School No. 9, a performing arts high school in Los Angeles. She frequently skipped school to participate in online chat rooms. After becoming discouraged about her education and career path, Dlamini claims that she realized in 11th grade that performing and music was all ever cared about. She eventually dropped out at age 16 while in her junior year, attributing this decision to her struggles with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder ADHD, saying that it felt like I was stuck in one spot and everybody else was progressing constantly. Career 2012-2017, Career Beginnings and Record Deal Doja Cat has described life after dropping out of school as messy, claiming that she slept on the floor and spent all night and day browsing the internet looking for beats and instrumentals from YouTube which she downloaded and used to create her own music. After becoming fascinated with internet culture and websites like Ebaum's World and MySpace, she taught herself to sing, rap and use GarageBand while at home without a job, frequently making music and uploading it to SoundCloud. In late 2012, So High became the first permanent upload on her SoundCloud account. Doja Cat began her career in the Los Angeles underground hip-hop scene, performing at parties in ciphers, and connecting with rappers such as Bus Driver, Il Camille and Verbs, the latter of whom claims to have helped hone her craft and find her first gig. It was during this time that she met producer Jerry Tazimself Powell, who had stumbled upon her SoundCloud account. He introduced her to record producer Yeti Beats, who invited her to record at his studio in the neighborhood of Echo Park, which also served as an oasis of sorts for Doja to escape from the turmoil at home. Yeti Beats then connected her with Chemisabe Records, an imprint of RCA Records, where she signed under label executive Dr. Luke and his publishing company Prescription Songs at the age of 17. This deal also came with a temporary artist management partnership with Rock Nation. In August 2014, Doja Cat released her debut EP, Purr, described as spacey, Eastern-influenced R&B by The Fader. So High was repackaged and released as her solo commercial debut single prior to the EP's release, and was later featured on the Fox series Empire in the third episode of the show's first season. 
In mid-2015, Doja Cat temporarily signed to OG Mako's label, OGG. Following the signing, in late 2016, Mako and Doja Cat collaborated on the song Monster, from Mako's 2017 mixtape, Children of the Rage. She had started experiencing writer's block, which led her to decline American singer Billie Eilish's offer to feature on what would later become her popular 2017 single Bellyache. Doja Cat would stop releasing music for a while amid what she describes as a creative limbo, which was influenced by her record labels not paying her much attention, as well as the effects of finding herself and smoking too much marijuana. Personal Life Doja Cat is reported to be eager to deflect interest in her personal life. She lived in a home in Beverly Hills, California, which she bought in 2021 for $2.2 million and sold in September 2022 for $2.5 million. She was in a brief open relationship with American musician Johnny from August 2019 until separating in February 2020. Despite not having formally come out or openly stated her sexual orientation, Doja Cat has hinted at queer themes, stating that she likes people can have sex with. And you can kinda have sex with anybody. In June 2020, Doja Cat donated $100,000 to the Justice for Breonna Taylor Fund, in support of Taylor's family. In January 2024, Doja Cat's mother has filed for a temporary restraining order against her older brother, Ramon Dalathando Dlamini, who has allegedly been abusing both Doja Cat and their mother, 